Hi, I'm Charlotte Smith with BladeOnline.com. Thank you for joining me. I'm in Elizabethtown on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard across the street from AME Zion, Mount Zion Church. And the um, protesters are getting ready to start their march. It's supposed to start at 6 p.m. There's still some pulling up. It's supposed to be a peaceful march, according to Reverend Corey Lyons, the president of the NAACP. Um, I interviewed him earlier, and he said this is a peaceful march, uh, and we'll go down towards the IGA parking lot, where they will take a moment to um, sit on bended knee in memory of George Floyd, who was a North Carolina native who died last week due to poli uh, police brutality. And so this is um, the parade march. Thanks for joining me. I have with me here Reverend Corey Lyons. He's also the president of the NAACP here in Bladen County. Tell us about the parade coming up. Um, today we are going to have a parade uh, beginning at Mount Zion AME uh, Church uh, right here on Martin Luther King Drive and we're going to march down to the IGA parking lot. Now this is going to be a non-violent march. Uh, we don't want anybody breaking windows. We're going, to, we're going to march and walk in peace. This is a protest last March. We're not going to uh, uh, loot any stores. This is not the intent behind this march. The intent behind this march is to uh, come together and speak out about the social and economic and the, the judicial injustice that is occurring in this land. Me, can you introduce yourself, please? Yes, my name is Pia Jessup, and I am a member of St. Thomas Ellis Creek Amy Zion Church, and also a member of Delta Sigma Theta White Will Alumni Chapter. Can you tell me what this Can event means to you? No. Well, what this means to me and most of the community here and abroad <laughs> is really wanting to see justice for the many women and men, African American, that have fallen victim to police brutality, wrong for death, and we are just looking for more reform in many of the systems throughout our state as well as the country. Do you have any suggestions or tips that you'd like to offer? Um, suggestions that I have, particularly with the various systems, whether it's health care, whether it's law enforcement, is there is a severe need for diversity training um, and to hold uh, police officers, anyone in a position of power or not accountable for their actions. Um, we're seeing a lot of times that things are getting pushed under the rug and things are just kind of seemingly going away. And rather than doing that and sparking more frustration among um, people and family members, Members, it's important that we educate ourselves and the people that represent us, truly represent us to the best of their ability, um, so that we can see change throughout. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. And the parade started. No, no justice, no peace. Black Lives Matter. They're also wearing shirts that say, um, uh, I can't breathe in memory of jo uh, George Floyd.
they're, they're going to take a knee for nine minutes in memory of George Floyd. I'll be a part of that every day you do it. We're out here to protect lives and property. And uh, what you're doing right here is what it ought to be done. And God bless you all for the way you do it. One for the road. No peace, no justice. No peace, no justice. I can't breathe. Big Show said that he wanted to be an example for the nation because Bladen County is considered the mother county. He said he wanted the mother county to set the example of how to make changes with the injustices the communities are facing. He mentioned not only George Floyd, who died last week due to police brutality, but he also mentioned recent murders. There was one last week in Elizabethtown. He said that was black on black crime. 
and he wants to see a change in the community. And the protesters agreed. There'll be more meetings to come, community forums, according to Elizabeth Town Police Chief. Tony, there you are. I was just talking about you. You're gonna have we're gonna have some community forums coming up. Right. I appreciate that. There were people of all colors here. We've got business owners and uh, town council members. Uh, well, at least one. I saw Ricky Limewine. I saw business owner from Barefoot Sandwich Shop and pastors. Other business leaders, there's a basketball player that plays for UNCW right now. His last name's Bowen, here from Bladen County. This is uh, people of all types, ages, ethnic groups, backgrounds here in peaceful protest. They mentioned other names of victims who've died violent deaths. And they talked about starting the conversations needed to make the changes to end police brutality and other injustices plaguing our nation. You can find out more on bladenonline.com. Thank you for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll ask those questions to the proper officials and authorities. You guys have a safe night.